Cardinal Health's Argyle Umbilical Vessel Catheters set a standard of care for critically ill infants. Umbilical catheters provide vascular access immediately after birth and can be placed in the umbilical vein or one of the umbilical arteries. When placed in umbilical veins, umbilical catheters are used for the administration of fluids, nutrition, and medications. When placed in the umbilical artery, they are typically used for blood gas sampling and pressure monitoring. Umbilical catheters are generally the first point of venous access used for neonates. Umbilical catheters placed at birth may remain in place for up to 7 to 14 days. Designed with both the patient and clinician in mind, the Argyle Umbilical Vessel Catheter portfolio includes single, dual, and triple lumen catheters. When deciding whether to use a single or multi-lumen catheter, it is best to use the least number of lumens required to meet the goals of infusion and needs of the neonate. Each additional lumen provides another potential port of entry for pathogens to cause a catheter-related bloodstream infection. At Cardinal Health, all of our market-leading umbilical catheters are made of polyurethane material. Polyurethane constructed umbilical catheters provide greater tensile strength and have a greater tolerance to infusion pressures. The durability of polyurethane material allows for a thinner catheter wall, which results in a larger lumen and a less likeliness for the catheter to clot and the ability to administer multiple infusates. One watch out of polyurethane is that the catheter can weaken if exposed to alcohol or acetone containing antiseptics. This can be mitigated through proper care and antiseptic techniques. Now, let's highlight how to properly care and maintain a polyurethane umbilical catheter. Any rubbing, twisting, bending, and stretching motions will place stress on the umbilical catheter. When disinfecting or using add-on devices containing alcohol, pay particular attention to prevent these solutions from coming in contact with the catheter. Alcohol-containing solutions will have a negative effect on the polyurethane catheters, causing the material to deteriorate or even break. If antiseptic products containing alcohol are used, be sure to allow the solutions to dry at the insertion site before inserting the catheter. Clamps like hemostats should not be applied to any portion of the catheter, including the lure lock hubs. This can cause microscopic tears to the catheter and cracks in the lure lock hub. Additionally, during add-on device change, the catheter should not be crimped, specifically if any alcohol-containing solution has been applied to the lure lock for disinfection. If so, finger crimp the catheter away from any antiseptic solution contact. When used appropriately, polyurethane umbilical catheters offer safe and optimal infusions. In addition to proper care and maintenance, proper securement is very important. Cardinal Health offers a UVC anchor accessory that is designed to form a strain relief bridge or a commonly known as goal post to hold the catheter in place. When placing umbilical catheters, proper sterile technique, including a sterile cap, mask, gown, and gloves is required. Be sure to follow your institutional policy regarding skin preparation prior to catheter insertion. It's important to adhere to institutional policies and follow the manufacturer's directions for optimal care and maintenance of umbilical catheters. Cardinal Health now offers a comprehensive neonatal portfolio of clinically trusted devices and products to support the needs of your patients. Products you need, products you trust, now from one partner, Cardinal Health. <music>